Lighting is one of those essential things that happens when you're trying to get that perfect looking render. And sometimes creating that perfect looking light requires a couple of techniques that deals with the light itself alongside with the environment. In certain situations, you might want to create a caustic scene like this. And depending on how large your scene is, this might actually affect performance. And that is actually something that a global light texture is targeted at making even easier. The folks at B Production have actually made this available and this comes with 9 categories to give you that ultra realistic shadows for your scene. You'll be able to have access to 95 different textures and this is super cool. And for those who like to get this right now and probably get it with a discount code of 15% off, there's going to be a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check this one out for yourself. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open right here, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and then go over to your fire part and you need to add the Gobos light texture within your fire part. Now, once you do that, click on the bugger menu, click on save preference and close this. Now, once you close that, click and drag a brand new panel and then you need to switch this to your asset browser, click on the drop down and select the Gobos light texture. And that way you'll be able to see the nine categories that this actually comes with. And to play with these nine categories is as simple as clicking, dragging and dropping. Now, before we do that, let's get rid of this box and throw in a simple grid. I'm just going to go ahead and scale this grid and we're going to take a look at what your default light looks like. So if we simply select the default light that we have here, go over to the light section, set this to spotlight, and then we go over to the render section and switch the render. So let's switch that, switch the render to cycles. You can see what we have, the very natural and normal lighting that actually ships with Blender. But if you would like to put some more drama to your scene, this is where the global light texture comes in. So we can click and drag and drop and actually raise this all the way up and then you can start seeing some stuff. Now, in most cases, when you're trying to drag this around, you would notice that it doesn't work. Now, the reason why this isn't working is not because the light is broken or anything like that. It's because the drag has been set to select box. So the way you can work with this is by simply going all the way here and setting it to active tool. Now, once you set it to active tool, of course, you can now have fun working with the gizmo if this is what you want. Now, some of these gobbled light textures also come animated. So right here, we have the animated leaf. So I can simply click and drag and drop that right here. And also because the drag is set to active tool, we can now drag this all the way up. If you like to also play with the intensity of these, of course you can add an extra zero, have that there, and you can press the playback button and you can see these animate in real time. Now, some other things that you might also want to do is to use these in volume situations or probably use this to light a simple object. And this is also very interesting. So for this, we are going to get our very favorite labrat, Susan. So I'm just going to drag Susan right in here and raise her all the way up. And of course, we're going to do a simple rotation, subdivide a little bit. And for sure, we are also going to go through and throw in a simple light. So in this case, we were going to get a simple light like so, just drop that right there. So it's going to be facing her, move this over to a position, raise this all the way up and we can position this however we want. So with a positioning like this, we can start doing some very nice things. Now, if you're thinking about increasing the spotlight size, of course you can. If you like to soften this, you can go over to the radius and soften it. And this way it will soften the entire thing that you have in here. And in most cases, you might not want to have all of this very sharp, you know, beam shape around the cone. You can also go over to the blend and sort of blend that just about a little bit like so. So with this, you can start creating some very interesting things. So we can go ahead and, you know, change the color of the light if this is what we want. Now, if you're also thinking about faking caustic, you know, like we talked about earlier, if you're thinking about faking caustics, you can. Let's go ahead and reposition this very well. So I'm just going to position that about the point like so, looking nice. So if we like to fake caustics, doing that is super easy. We already have our default object within our viewport. Let's go ahead and throw in a simple cube. Now, once we get this cube, scale this cube all the way up. And next thing to do is to add a shader. So for this shader, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this all the way up and switch our viewport panel that we just created to the shader editor. Now within the shader editor, I'm just going to click on new and then we don't want the principal BSDF. What we're looking for is the shader that deals with the principal volume. So I'm going to click, drag, drop, set this to volume and automatically this becomes a volume. You can't see this now because we're looking at this with a viewport shading. If we'd like to see this clearly, we need to switch over to cycles. And for this, I'm going to drop density to maybe 0.5, something like that. Or we can actually drop this 
0.3 looking nice. So if you're thinking about getting that fake caustic, instead of going all the way to sort of figure this thing out, you can just go to the caustic section. There's a number of caustic stuff here. You can pick from any of these. Click, drag, and drop this. Actually, let's drop this right here. And we can position this where we want it to be. So if we position this exactly where we want it to be, let's first of all hide this so we can see exactly where Susan is. All right, so we can position this exactly where we'd like this to be. We can increase what we have right here. And because the caustic is also animated, if we send this all the way back, press the playback button, you can see the caustic is plain. You know, like the gobo on the light is plain and it's giving us that fake caustic view, which is super, super nice. If you're thinking about replicating this even more, probably want to increase or tile this more, you can go over to the material section, go to the scale, and you can set this to, let's say, five. Oh, that's a lot. We can actually drop this down, set that to maybe 3.2, for example, and we have something that works, throw in that cube, and you can have that right in here. Let's also scale this cube a little bit more so we can see some stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna scale it towards the axis and I'm going to select Susan and dive right in. So right here, we can see Susan having some fun. We can also select that light, which is the caustic light, and we can crank it up about one more. So right now, we now have the caustic happening exactly how we want. At any point in time, you like to change the density of the caustic. Of course, you can also do that. We can set this to 0 0.2, for example, have some more light come in there, go over to the light section, which is a caustic, and we can crank this up even more. We can change the light as we want, and you can start playing with this and creating some very interesting things for yourself. So this is more like it. For those who like to get this, probably want to do some window stuff. You're thinking about playing with some leaves. You're trying to get some grid-like stuff, some geometry stuff, some forest stuff, some cloud stuff, you know, caustic, abstract. All of these are right here, and you can actually go ahead and grab this right now from the folks at B Production and add some sense of realism to your renders. Right now, this is going for 15%. And for those who like to get this and also get it for 15% off, links to this is gonna be in the description alongside with the coupon code, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.